So then we were contacted by Channel 12 News and we shared our sentiments with Channel 12's, 12 News, um, Blaze Gomez, I believe that was her name that we spoke to, um, April, myself, and my husband. And we basically said, you know, we don't believe that everybody in Washingtonville is a racist and we don't believe that every parent shares the same sentiment. We don't, we're not saying that, but what we are saying is that this issue needs to be addressed. There are a handful of parents that do speak like this and that think that it's okay to speak like this amongst themselves. Like I said before, I just happened to overhear it. It wasn't being, you know, screamed out into the field. It was a conversation between two people. Between two people. But the, but the actual issue uh, that is is the fact that the comment was made by a coach. That the comment is was made, sure, yeah. and that was in front of the children where the, the coach and the players overheard the coach say that, calling him an ignorant nigger. And the president of the league was at all of the games that weekend and did nothing, as far as I know. Right. So, what would you ladies like to see um, uh, happen, um, you know, it, 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 I mean, do, do you want people, I mean, because I like to ask the question, what would you like to see happen? Do you, do you, would you like for the parents to maybe rally or would you like for, uh, to maybe, I'm, I'm planting a seed right now, maybe starting some sort of organization to try and combat that? Um, are you planning on doing some sort of online campaign? Uh, what do you see your actions after this? I, I spoke to my brother last night who coaches in Orange County. Um, he coaches for Middletown. He, he's a teacher um, from the, the school in Ellenville. Um, my brother said to me, you know, Melissa, I'm glad that you're doing this. I'm glad that you're taking a stance about this because in a day of social media, these things have been happening since I played Pop Warner. And my my brother played college football, he played semi-pro football, and now he coaches. And he runs his own league that actually is throughout Orange County. He and my other brother, um, Mike, who they run a league that actually brings these kids together from all different counties where they're playing on the same teams in a flag football league and they're getting to know each other. They're not isolated because they're from Monroe or Newburgh or Washingtonville or Cornwell or Middletown. They're at, he's actually bringing these kids together and bringing the parents together so that they're getting to know each other outside of their school districts and stereotypical views of kids from Middletown and Newburgh in particular. You know, it's also interesting that just having my son graduate from playing football at NFA, you know, this is nothing new, in my opinion. It's nothing new, but it needs to stop. Why is it that five players from Monroe Woodbury get arrested for shoplifting in the beginning of this football season that just happened? Why isn't that televised? Why isn't that promoted? Why isn't that blasted all in the time Herald record? Five Monroe Woodbury starters. Why wasn't that broadcasted? But you have a player who carried a pocket knife to school from Newburgh, and that's on the whole back side of the sports section in the record. Why? Why? You have... <laughs> You have a student from Middletown, a, a, a person of color, who was a bystander at an altercation and he can no longer play for Middletown anymore. Why is that? You know, the, the racist undertones of the county that we live in in this sports league, you know, it just, it bothers me that you're dehumanizing certain people groups, you're demonizing certain people groups, certain athletes, and it's not fair and it's time that people address the issue head on and that's why we're here today because i cannot be silent anymore and just watch this go on and continue like i'm i'm concerned with the state of this this country 
I'm concerned as a parent of, of a 19 year old child who's three hours north of me in college playing football in a college town. How is he being perceived or how is he being viewed? If he gets pulled over by the police, I'm concerned as a parent. Well, I have to say, you know, it's not, unfortunately, the sad part is that it's not something that is just, just on on County. It is truly something that is um, still across the country. Uh, one of the sad things that I'm faced with as a person of color who is operating a business in Orange County is just that thing is that oftentimes I'm the only person of color that sits in the room. Uh, and um, it's just one of those things that we have to continue to fight. Um, we cannot give up on that. I think that you're absolutely right. I think it's 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 about our ch it's about our children and how we mold our children. <laughs>